I, I mean, those last two matches were outstanding. If WrestleMania was one night like it normally is, and those were your last two matches uh, with Bad Bunny and uh, Miz and, of course, Sasha and Bianca, if those had been the – you would just be hyped. That was amazing, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. This tonight seemed like – I, I don't I don't want to dog it too much, but it, it almost seemed like a bad copy of night one. Like they tried to replay some stuff, but they were really just there was no sizzle. There was no sizzle. That 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 it was it was missing some sizzle. So Yeah, I think Yeah, I mean I think part of it too was just I, I had a uh, and we'll go over kind of the the match by match and obviously i think the way it opened up just kind of set a weird tone mm -hmm. i think at least i think for me it really did with the, with the bray orton match the sorry the fiend orton match just yeah really kind of set a weird tone and then it, it i felt like i never really recovered yeah, and you got the I, gut punch early. Uh, yeah, and, and I think, you were trying to make up for it the whole time, and yeah. And in part of it, I think too. I mean, it's kind of that, and then yeah, you know, WrestleMania making it a weekend, and especially you know for us, like basically doing kind of the, the preview from Friday yeah. night, and then watching it Saturday night, and having such a a huge exciting show Absolutely. last night and then covering it again last night and then rolling in and watching it again it was just kind of like it, it some of it too I, i'm trying to be fair and trying to account for how much of it too it's just okay I'm i just agree. sort of a little kinda, burned or maybe burned, a little burned out. out a little you know and so i'm like okay well all right i'm kind of thinking i'm kind of just sort of trying to be fair uh, uh with it but Kind of just looking at it, I just felt like okay, I did, I couldn't sit there and pinpoint anything necessarily wrong with, other than the first I know match. What you're saying. But yeah. it seemed like there wasn't enough there to, you know, it almost like they needed to do something to really pull there me to be some... in at the first yes. match and make it something really exciting to kind of help. You know, kickstart that engine, get that you know that second wind almost for it, and really kind of say like, okay, yeah, I'm ready to watch another two to three hours of WrestleMania, yes. and you know, get through all this. And I just think it just wasn't there. It just really wasn't there. And then I think you know, and it's really a shame because I think it ended off pretty well. I yeah, the final, the, the match final was actually yeah, I was gonna really say, we, good, and but it's just, oh, just yeah. But just, I agree. Yeah, it just really seemed to. By the time it came around, it was just kind of like, 
Uh, I just make okay. it's just like okay. Is it over yeah. yet? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's a shame. I hate to say it that way, but that's exactly it. That's true. Yeah. So all right. So let's yeah. let's start. Let's hop you want to you want to go match by match, or you want to do it a little different tonight? I, I'm just. Uh, we can go match. We can go match, match by, by match. match. Yeah. I, I, we don't have to. We don't want to go deep into any one of these. Sure, and, uh, sure. Because I think there's not as much to really say. Yes, it's going to be a shorter night for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Also, Sunday night and everything. And just yeah, jobs yeah. and whatnot. Oh, um, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so the the they they you know they fire things off. I mean, kind of also some of the stuff with. So even the stuff with like Bailey fell flat tonight. Yeah. It just kind of like, mm -hmm. eh, okay, why? Um, also, they did some of the same commercials and the same intro with the Johnny Depp wannabe guy. And it was kind of <laughs> like, okay, well, all right, man, I saw this before. It was kind of cool the yeah. first time, but now, all right, no, no. Um, yeah. And yeah, the stuff with Bailey fell flat. Um, but. So they start things off with the fiend and and the Orton match, and I don't know. Maybe they wanted to get this one knocked out so that way they could clear out the big giant Jack in the Box. <laughs> That's out, really what out it was. Of the way. Yeah, they had to get that out early. I mean, um, it had the the opening. You know, Randy Orton typically has a pretty good entrance and you, you know, you know he was soaking it in it's the first match yeah he, you know you know he looked like yeah. he was ready to you know set you know kind of help set the tone i thought that part was pretty cool um the intro you know starting off with uh alexa bliss well first they did remind they did the vignette of the fiend being burned mm -hmm. and then him basically right. transitioning into the new you know the, the well like it's, kind it's of a old. new and renewed like yeah. the old fiend basically mm -hmm. completely you know reborn burnt potatoes Re gone yeah the burnt potatoes gone um <laughs> he, and and so they kind of they kind of set that stage and then it goes black a little bit and then they have the Firefly Funhouse music playing with Alexa Bliss going out and again, you know, again it kind of helps set the stage. She's just like being able to, you know, balance just the right like thing of of cute and creepy. Yeah. At yeah. the same time. And Yeah, I was trying to explain her character to somebody that does not watch wrestling. And I was like, if you ever seen a horror movie, the little kid, the little girl especially, with the pigtails is always the creepy one. Right, That's the one you gotta right, watch. She's right. gonna she's got some link to a demon or something. And the smaller and cuter they are, the worse it is. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, that's her character. If you ever seen a horror movie, the little girl with pigtails is just sitting there smiling, then she's gonna kill you. Yeah. So, <laughs> so she comes down, and I don't remember when Rand. I don't remember the box being there when Randy came down. I don't either. Unless they did some, maybe they had it off to the side, cuts, and then had to, and they rolled the, it the in. The came, and then they kind of just, yeah. I think some of it was a, a combination of camera angle, and then they might have. I think it was had, had to be camera angles because where do you get this giant box from otherwise? Yeah, they might have had it like they may have had it shifted off to the side a little bit. I have to I have to rewatch that, and maybe they were able to just roll it over to the side, you know, to the center, and maybe. But I don't remember. I, I unless like... they roll it out, unless they roll it out during the part where they take you to uh, the fiend. Sure, they might have like mm -hmm. like yeah. Unless they roll it like straight down the ramp and drop it off. Maybe. That seems like an awful quick ride for something that clearly has to have some weight to it, considering the all the mechanics that must have been on the inside of it. Yeah. Uh, but still, yeah. But so yeah, so, it comes down. Alexa comes out. Right, and and uh, starts. This is when you ahead. first see the giant jack in the box, and you see the huge handle. So you kind of get an idea on what's going to happen here. 
and which she could barely reach, which was pretty funny. Oh, well, exactly. <laughs> what did, did we go up to the top of the spell? I was like, I don't know if she can reach that. <laughs> just like you could, you you could, just could, enough of a push and then use her body weight to. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You could tell she was actually really using some muscle to do it, though. There yeah. was it wasn't yeah. just like oh the yeah uh, ring yeah no it was there was some actual effort getting put forth, but and so and so of course then the fiend comes out. I almost kind of wonder if it would have been better not to have the vignette ahead of time. May, again, maybe I agree. Just they needed to maybe they needed again like you were talking about maybe it's just because they needed to do that so then they would have the time to roll the thing down at that point maybe. But at the just from a just a the visual of the renewed fiend coming out of the box, right? You know, as opposed to like, okay, well, he's coming up where you already know because you saw the vignette, but right, you know, but in it, and the vignette was was it supposed to be him? It, it, they made it look like he was there walking out, right. Right. So why even have him act like he's coming out the ground? I mean, you know, what, whatever. Where it's, but to make it look like he's walking from backstage and then he comes out of this what jack they in the box. To like do, what they needed there. to do is they needed to have like a creepy field and Alexa Bliss like planting a legitimate burnt potato into the ground. <laughs> and then, See what grows. And then have you know, the fiend come out, you know, all that. But anyway, fiend comes out of the box. There's a red tone kind of hue to everything kind of everything. developing here. And then normal, normal, normal for him. Yeah. Right. And then, you know, he's kind of walking around and kind of standing around and, you know, he's kind of doing kind of this creepy on top kind of, the, of on top of the box, on top of the box. Yeah. 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 And he's kind of doing kind of this walk around. He's kind of doing this creepy kind of like knock my headset off my off my head. But he's kind of like doing this creepy kind of head jerk thing. Yeah. As he's walking yeah. around and stuff like that. So it's like, OK, all right, we're going we're going full on here. All right. Good. And so and then basically, I mean, again, kind of like just you know, the match didn't like a lot of it really didn't surprise me too much throughout the main points of the match but at least it started with him jumping off of the box yes and attacking yeah. it was we're going yeah Randy. there was no yeah let's like, ring the bell now no there was a you know i was also kind of figuring it was like, okay yeah how how exactly is he getting off that box well he just jumps right <laughs> off we're of asking it. the same thing here <laughs> yeah how, how is that okay you're up there that's great How's it? Yeah. Hey, how's ladder. This Can we get a ladder? No. I mean, yeah. Okay. How's this? How's this work? Um, yeah. So, so he jumps in, and so the action hits up pretty hard. It kind of like he starts to go after Randy, and you know, I don't remember every beat for beat of it, but effectively, it does boil down to where Randy's able to start to get the offense in, and I think he hits him with like three of those, you know, where you have like the feet dangling in the rope. Mm -hmm. DDT kind of things and you know yeah. the fiend just gets you know eventually gets right back up again and yep. you know they had a nice little uh, RKO counter to a mandible claw yes. that, was, that was pretty cool the, the little quick I thought that was a kind of a cool wrinkle it, it was it was and if I remember that's where things got even weirder yeah it's it shortly after that you know, it's basically you kind of you had kind of like the cane, cane ish fire coming off the four posts, and then you see who I'm assuming is still Alexa. Maybe. Yeah, with a, with a very different headgear dress, like, headdress. She in didn't general. have, and she didn't have the pony like no the pigtails. pigtails. Did she have the pigtails? No. And then she had kind of like a. Almost kind of like a, a basically with, uh, the best way to describe it is almost like a metallic crown of thorns, where it's like yeah. you know into her like actually you know like like needles or spikes into like the idea is that it's supposed to be spikes into her head, and then like there's this mm -hmm. black, almost like black blood, basically just just gushing out of her forehead. And yeah, just running all down. It's just. It's a, 
It was a good visual. It I mean, was. good it considering was. what it was. Yeah, it, it it was very. It was a good visual. There was nothing wrong with any part of that. And then the fiend appears to be distracted by it, and she kind of reaches her hand out toward him, and he, he reaches his hand thing. out toward her, and he kind of steps forward, and then Orton hits him. Uh. With the RK, RKO, I think he finished, hit him with the yeah, finisher. Yeah, I think so. And and he wins, and that's it. And yeah, match is over. Lights go out, and you're like, oh, okay, here we go. And again, uh, the Fiend uh, is laying in the ring, and he, I can't remember if he gets up or not, but uh, you know, she's still sitting up there with the blood, black blood rolling down. Just kind of looking sort of out of it, but very attentive at the same time. And the lights go out, lights come on, and everybody's gone. That was it. <laughs> and whatever... I'm assuming they weren't planning on this going well with the crowd i i don't know I have it no just idea. it just the there's i can kind of see crowd, okay like the crowd booing yeah there was boo after the, from that point the air got taken out of i know it's a whole pirate theme i'm not going for that but <laughs> yeah. the air got taken out of the sails uh I, there was booing if you have booing after the very first match of WrestleMania, you something's yeah, not like less, less, less like shock, and yeah, more, more like or just the, like what, that's why, it. why, what, yeah, what, it, what'd you waste our time with the big box for? What was you know, what was this three months of build, six months of build up? <laughs> I mean, how long has this been going on? You you built it up for what? No run ins. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't okay, know. Okay, Alexa. They, yeah, they had this. I mean, I guess as far as things go, that's this seemed to be like to me, like this kind of turn, kind of whatever this is going to be, seems mm-hmm. to me to be more suited for a Raw or Smack. Are they on Raw or SmackDown? I can't even yeah, remember to be honest. Uh, with Raw, you. Raw, okay. but it. it even if it was, I could do it with Fastlane. I could have done that with Fastlane. Mm-hmm, I could have had mm-hmm. this with at Fastlane, and you're like, "Oh, and WrestleMania is going to be on this." Is gonna be stuff. Right, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. Kind of. This the, was the answer to WTF gets answered at WrestleMania. That's, yes, yeah, that's a yes. good point. That's a good point. Yeah, or, or any of the if it was the build up, and you were going to answer it at whatever the pay per view is right before SummerSlam. Oh, you know, it's sure. something, something before one of the the big the big events, but especially before WrestleMania, for this to happen, it was just especially after such the long buildup, right? And right. the whole point of a long buildup, and WWE is not great with long buildups as it is. So finally, they did one, and then there was no payoff. So, yeah, I, I mean, I, my my brain wants me to try and find the logic. And I gotta stop doing that. Um, and, and, and see, I like these type. Oh, I asked you last night. I'm not sure if I ever said anything more about it. I asked if you liked the, you know, the whole hocus pocus and uh, you sure, know the, I, the, I, you know, the the fire and the brimstone and the if you like that type of su- supernatural esque type of wrestling. I do. I think it's storytelling. I, yeah. I I like that type of thing. I don't know. No, if both don't, of us like Taker. I mean, who didn't like Taker? Well, sure. But, I mean, yeah, I don't mind it. I don't. Again, I say I don't mind if it's done well and it's not overdone. That was basically sure. my gist of it. And I think overall, I think this has been an interesting story arc with Bray, with this fiend character and the fire fun Firefly Funhouse. Trying yeah. to say that ten times fast. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. So I yeah I think again it, that that in and of itself doesn't bother me. And again, I think like you said, like the visual of of Alexa sitting there with black blood coming out of her forehead, just looking creepy yeah. as all hell. I mean, yeah. I mean that aspect of it was fine. Couldn't beat it. 
It was yeah. just the finish of the match. It's like they forgot to write the end. Yeah. They wrote yeah, they wrote ninety five percent of the book and they got to the end and just were like, Okay, we're done. Well, it was almost like yeah, it was almost like okay, they got to about like the first act, the second act, and then went straight to the end without fleshing out the entire third act. Right. They, it's like okay they got to the end okay even fine you know even if it kind of boils everybody down to disappears where messing with you know bray and then orton you being able to take advantage of that and and get the win um you know because randy right. was telling you know kind of building up this argument he was saying something where you know um you know i can go to dark places too and and all this and that never really fleshed out with the way the story was going other than him being you know brutal but i mean he's always brutal so okay big deal um and it wasn't but it wasn't him being brutal that won the match it wasn't him no, going no. to the darkest deepest darkest recesses no, of his mind no. him somehow you know killing sister abigail or uh, whatever alexa bliss's the, 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 character is sure playing. sure it it wasn't any of that, and maybe that's where they're going because, like, or I, I have no idea. It was very, it was a letdown. There's no other way to say it. It, yeah. it really, I was very disappointed with that match. They, they, so yeah, they just they, and it was short. Going for it was fairly so short too. It was. It really was. Um. So I yeah, they were trying to get at, when that match went as short as it was. I thought that there might be a rain delay that they're trying to beat. I, I really did. I thought it was maybe they're trying to get this done in two hours because they know come 1030, you know, the, the heavens are going to open. Um, it wasn't that. Uh, it, so, yeah, I. Yeah. So. So yeah. then they go to the. Well, they had the little vignette in the back with our not vignette. Uh, Bailey still around, acting goofy. Yeah, I was just Hogan gonna, and Titus was, and Bischoff, all that. Yeah, I was gonna skip. Yeah, that. we'll move on. Yeah, okay, <laughs> we're good. Like We've hit that, it. Now that, we moved on. That fell full, completely flat too for me. Yeah, I think, again, yeah, I think it, it would have been something I'd been more amenable to if I hadn't just completely. Just completely yes. lost. Like, uh, just I like, was like, very. No, I like, wasn't in the. Ha! Ah, this is funny. I feel like no, laughing. Like, no, I'm like, I'm okay. Like, now, I'm I need, now I with the last match. Still. Yeah, now I need something exciting to really kick me in into gear here because this isn't cutting it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was big letdown. A second. Match, so, so Kevin Owens and women's Sammy tag. Sane. Oh no, it was it, women's, women's tag, tag next, right? Women's okay, yeah, next, my yeah, version. Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah, my version I don't think has the right order. Good grief. Okay. No, sorry. I hate it when they do that. It's like just give me everything in the right order. Yeah, women's tag. No, I agree. Um so again, um not it was back and forth early. Yeah. And Jax Jax and uh Tamina especially and Tamina. had a good kind of yeah story. Yeah, they they had a nice little um Jax got in the ring and said, that, you know, she was like, I want her. And he wants Tamina in there. Tamina at some point actually picks her up and slams her, barely. Uh, there were times that Nat wasn't on the apron. She was MIA. And there was times that Tamina was MIA. And that kind of played into the story a little bit. But yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was... <laughs> uh Tamina Tamina missed a she she tried to go and do the super fly off the top after off the top rope. Missed. Yeah. Um yeah. And then a little bit the, of interesting ending. I well, did it was an, what I was gonna say too is I mean at least I think I think they did a pretty good job at one point during the match where they were kind of they were working uh, Natalia's leg. Mm -hmm. The idea there is gonna kind of helps and help neutralize the uh, the sharpshooter, which then right. turn around and it doesn't really directly come into play later.
more like, okay, well, her adrenaline, Natalia's adrenaline's up, so she was still able to pull off the Lock it in. sharpshooter on Nia Jax, of all people, which, again, you know, is just, you know, much, obviously looks more like a much more impressive feat. Sure. The problem being... Nia Jax wasn't legal. She had just missed a tag. Yeah. 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 She had just missed she missed the tag. Yep. And so Baszler just jumps in. Is is the Cor- Corbina? Corbana? I always get that wrong. The clutch. The her finishing move. It's the hole. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. So it was a cool visual because yeah. um Coquina Natalia clutch. still has Corvina. Yeah. Yeah. Corvina so clutch. um yeah. Natalia still has the sharpshooter on, sort of, yeah. in a way. But is there the three of them are laying kind of in a line. Well, and like, the, I mean, the, that's the beauty of the way they did. I mean, I, I think it was a pretty interesting way. Because, uh, yeah, Nia could have been tapped until the day is long. And it doesn't matter right. because she it didn't matter. She wasn't legal. legal. Yeah. So, yeah, they could still keep the hold on Nia and have the hold on, you know, Baszler have the hold on Natalia and then, um, you know, and, and be able to finish it off. And basically they had it to where you're like, yeah, Natalia didn't even tap. She just passed out. Yeah. Um, right. So uh, I guess, you know, in that way, there was, it was a pretty solid uh, way to, way to finish it. Um, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't catch the week shows last week leading up to this. Uh, where was Reginald? I was going to ask you the same thing. <laughs> Not that I really uh, should care that no, much, but no, but our whole thing about who we were picking to win this was kind of based off of him being around. Um, exactly. Yeah, we both, he was yeah, screw both it of us picked for Nat and Tamina, because right? We figured, uh, he, yeah, yeah. How this would be a chance because they've teased, you know, the, the breakup of this group for a while seemed like a perfect time to do it Mm -hmm. again the wrestlemania is in a weird way is starting to feel not not what they used to i I don't know that i'm a little jaded today so today's i'm a little (laughs) i'm a little drained on but i'll i'll know more tomorrow with my theory is right but the Raw after WrestleMania, they've even hyped it up more than they, the last few years. It's almost become, they've tried to almost extend it to another day, the whole excitement of WrestleMania. Sure, sure. To the point where I'm wondering if they've almost made it take some of the things that you would normally, the, the surprises and, oh my goodness, talking points maybe they're going to kind of start saving it for the raw after WrestleMania. But well, yeah. And I mean, we'll the thing, see. The thing we'll about see. the, the raw right after WrestleMania is that, I mean, if, if WrestleMania, if I'm sorry, if, if WWE has a quote unquote season, season. it's WrestleMania is supposed to be the end of it. It's the Super Bowl sure. of, of right. the promotion and then that raw right after WrestleMania usually is a, a bigger deal than maybe even some of your typical raws. It's like the go home raw leading into WrestleMania and then the one right after because that's really the aftermath and really effectively the start of the next season. Um sure. and so it will be curious to see how they how they set some of this and and what you know what do they do with some of these story points i mean some of it's just okay you've got uh new champions you've got you know some of them retain some of them whatever but you know um you know i think with some of it where you have the title changes you know so now you have the new champions in place what do you do with them you know um but so yeah, I think that, I mean I think that one was pretty good. I think again, I think it would have had a bit more impact if I wasn't still trying to figure out what the hell I just saw mm-hmm. before. Mm-hmm. I think what I have just yeah. basically skipped that like skipped that tag match cuz then it goes cuz it was after that that it goes to Owens and Zane. Is that what you yeah. have? Okay. 
Yeah, my yeah. list just for some reason just completely skipped the women's tag title match for like it, I, oh no, forty forty. ESPN, what are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm talking, yeah, like, yeah. They so, also were asleep through that. I guess. Um, I guess. So this one, uh, Owens comes out. Uh, I mean, Sammy comes out. He introduces Logan Paul, smattering of booze throughout this. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I, I, um, I, nothing <laughs> about this match was surprising. No, I, 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 and I mean, in any way, no. Owens no. won. He yeah. was dominant from the beginning. Yeah. Uh, at the end, Sammy loses. He says, uh, "You know, hey." Logan, did you see it? Did you see it? He screwed me over again. The conspiracy is real. And Logan Paul says, of course, I think I didn't see anything, man. I don't yeah, know what you're talking you about. I'm sorry. Lost. You basically just Yeah, you just lost. lost. And yeah. so then he walks over to Owens and out stretches his hand out to say, hey, man, you know, we're, we're all good. And Sammy loses it, runs up and kind of smacks it. Uh, he shows Logan. Paul and, Logan. Yeah. Yeah, and Logan shoved him back and yeah. basically shoved him out the ring. Yeah. It was yeah. a pretty good shove for him. Yeah, it was a pretty good push. Yeah, oh yeah. Um and then Owens channels his inner stone cold. That's the way I say it. Uh he, well, he like, channels his inner stone cold. He takes Owens' hand and raises it and all that stuff and then like Yeah, Kevin's like the champion. Just like I just like, like no. Who in the hell are you? you Why you, do I care? Yeah, it's, it's like it's like you uh caught one of Stone Cold's beers. Mm -mm. <laughs> Back in the day. Yeah. You don't step so, on Superman's cape. You don't Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't don't mess up or drop a beer or none of the no, other stuff. No, no, no. Um, or just, you know, catch Stone Cold on the wrong day because guess what? Right, yeah. Heck, don't even drink the beer at the same time he does because that also could set him off. You just don't know. <laughs> you, you really just don't know. So, yeah, I mean, probably the best part of the night is seeing Logan Paul get get a stunner. And yeah. it's just, okay, fine. All right, yay. I, again, yeah. I'm moving on because I really right. don't That's, I care with you. about with you this one um okay so my list has the seamus riddle match next yeah that right? that's next okay i don't yeah because oh. remember riddle was in the back and he talks to the kali the great kali yes yes great kali fabulous is he no um <laughs> <laughs> no it was something else that was something else yeah it's a, uh, it's a... <laughs> no copyright strikes no copyright strikes. No, no copyright strikes yeah oh um, yeah so uh at RVD's back there again they have to make a a weed reference. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, so Riddle and Seamus. Yeah. What'd you think of this one? I I mean, all in all, I mean, I thought it was a a good match. I think it was probably the better match it, Yeah, of, I thought it was know, a, of the night so far. And to so, that point for sure. Yeah. And so um low bar, but yeah. Yeah. yeah, at that point, but Did I you think can't do gum. You're you're a match of the night. <laughs> <laughs> um, I tell you, I mean, you know, but some of this stuff, you know, really, I mean, you could really see that these two guys can really work. Um, yeah, some of the stuff I want, I think, what was it? I think um, he kind of did like. Like it was basically, I think it was supposed to be like a Spanish fly, but it was more like an overhead belly to belly suplex mm -hmm. that that Riddle hit on Sheamus. Oh yeah, gotcha. I wanna I wanna say Riddle kind of landed where the sun, oh. yeah, where the sun don't shine, kind of and <laughs> kind of because like he was kind of selling a bit, but I think I I I I I think I think he got hit in a place where you shouldn't get hit. And yeah. it ended up kind of because you can kind of see he because the way he landed and like I kind of saw him down and I was like I think he got hit in the I think, yeah that didn't look right <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I will say every time I turned around Riddle was flipping or jumping off of something whether well, yeah, it's the second his... rope to the outside 
whether it's the top of the at some point he was flipping off of something um and i actually wrote that before the end i was literally i, I wrote a few good spots every time i turn around riddle is doing a flip or spin off of something and then the end of the match which is actually a really good move yeah he runs to the ropes the second rope and is supposed to be doing a backflip off of them mm-hmm. he runs jumps in the middle of the ropes bounces off comes and is doing a flip back and as he does he gets bro kicked in the face one yeah. two three Seamus wins yeah yeah and again i think and riddle gets busted up a bit yeah he does and i think that was actually good too and i don't know if that was hard way or or you know yeah I, kept, like a, I could not tell right yeah but i think it was a good visual it was like yeah you got you got literally kicked in the mouth you should be bleeding you, you should be bleeding i mean yeah. and so in a way that was a good visual for it again i think this was and so I want to say I got a little bit more excited and, you know, I, I would say this match started to pick me up a little bit more because it was a very active, very intense match. You know, both of them were really working their butts off on this one. And so it did help to kind of pick me up a little bit. But again, but I, I, I also still feel that, again, it was one of those ones where I probably would have been even more excited uh, you know and i just even as cool as this match was it just wasn't enough yeah yeah <laughs> it no, should have I'm, been but it just wasn't and, i'm with you i'm with you you know but also uh sheamus is now the united states champion so we'll see yes. where they go with that um sure and you know what they you know what they do with uh riddle i think riddle's an interesting character i think he's i mean ridiculously athletic oh um, yeah yeah what was funny one one story beat that i thought might come into play but didn't was if you remember the commentators before this match mentioned something about the the bare feet they were talking about the bare feet and it was like mm-hmm. i would i would just stomp on him i would just, just stomp, stomp on his feet. foot you know <laughs> And right. that never that I, I thought maybe that might be alluding to something. They've they've said that a lot. Sure, sure. Uh, Corey Graves says it almost every week. Yeah, just stop on some his point. foot. Just stop on his just foot. Just stop on his foot. Yeah. But having like um, both uh both uh um the king um and um Booker T bring it up the way they did, it was kinda like oh, yeah, there's something maybe yeah, right. But no, didn't happen. So I don't ever see Riddle being in a hardcore match where there's some thumbtacks. Let's just put it like that. <laughs> or um, Legos. Yeah. Legos. Legos. Yeah. Oh, would Legos. Be like, yeah, that'd be like Legos this. are worse. Exactly. Well, Legos that'd are worse. Just, I'm I'm just, I'll I'm take a thumbtack gonna, anytime. I'm just going to cover the whole ring in Legos. Yeah. Yeah. Do your worst. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come, come get in the ring. Come on. I dare you. I dare you. Yeah. All right, so IC belt up next. Yes. Leave. The yes. Nigerian drum match, which is basically a hardcore match, no DQ match. With yes. I don't know what they call it. Yes, stop. Like, they just they put drums out there. The, they put that was drums it. and a giant gong that only didn't really come into play as much as I thought it would. The symbol, the big the giant symbol, symbol that he hit him yeah. once early. Yeah. And, and then it was like, was, okay, like, that was and it. That was a bit anticlimactic as far as like, okay, you got I'm like, I, you know, you show that thing out there and it's fairly unique compared to the rest of the stuff that's out there. I'm like, okay, there's got to be, there's got to be Sit something Sit it on else, his head you know? and have somebody, and then take something and actually hit it where you'll actually hear, and hear and you the hear gong the sound. Yeah. 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 yeah that would have been kind of a cool thing. Th- this, honestly, I, I will, I will say this. So I hadn't seen um apollo and his he he clearly ran to the store wherever kofi went back in the day to get his jamaican accent and he went and got his nigerian one um hopefully he remembers to use it at all times when in the ring especially if triple h is around shout out to (laughs) kofi uh but uh (laughs) the, the yeah this character i've always thought apollo had a ton of talent 
I always thought he could do all of the moves. His talking was, yeah, you know, it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the best. It wasn't the most believable. He, I, it, I always thought he needed that right character. He needed that right. He needed, yeah, something to help him stand out. Something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Without having seen this, this is about, this is the first time I've ever seen Apollo sort of seem confident in the glove that he is putting on. Right. He right. seemed like this is, I can do this. I can be this person. I, I thought it was actually, I, I was weirdly impressed. I was surprised that I was impressed as much as I was with him. Um, he looked aggressive. He right. didn't look, the, the the whole smiling, cheesing thing that he used to do was dawn. Uh I I was in, I was pretty impressed with and the match. He's, he's, Overall the match yeah. wasn't was really good. Yeah, I think so too. I think I mean Big E's, you know, freaking superstar and I agree. I think Apollo has been this really especially when, you know when he first came out and I I caught him when he was back in NXT. He was mm, really, yeah, really good there. That's why I remember. And he was that that incredible mix of power and high flyer at the same time, you know he. Yeah, he's not so, that big. Not really. Uh, but height. He's, height. But, and, but he's and I mean so I mean he's like yeah he's like six foot maybe six one two forty, you know. Right. He's like right in that heavyweight, kind of on the low end of that heavyweight, you know, department, but can just move and fly and just I mean could you know, work with the cruiserweights if he wanted to, you know. And so he, you know, uh, he was able to pull off some really great moves. I think they were able to, but I could see even with Big E, like he was using his movement, but I think even with Big E, who's no slouch, um, he was able to pull off some decent power moves. It, it was funny to me that it's like, okay, so you're calling this a Nigerian drum match. So... Thinking, okay, there's going to be, you know, some interesting things coming up here. Like, the whole beginning of the match effect- effectively beating the crap out of each other with kendo sticks. Yes. They hop in the ring, each of them with one, and then just hit the other arm, the other one's arm, for a while. Until uh, Apollo slides out of the ring and goes get something else. Yeah. So... There were some good good spots in this match. Oh, there, uh, were. there were. Yeah, Big E was on um was laying on this half of the steel steps and uh Apollo takes the other half and is gonna throw it right on him. You know, last second, of course, he jumps out of the way. Right. Again, it's always fun watching wrestling with people that don't watch wrestling. And where, you know, they also they usually start off with the oh, this is silly. You know what is what is happening, and then that moment of he's gonna kill him if he hits him with that. Yeah, I mean, can. that's like really this is going this he can't do that. Like he can't. How do you do? That? Oh my goodness! Right. right. Yeah. So it, it's it it, it yeah. is fun. It, it's 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 fun. It's really yeah. fun. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So there there were moments in this match. Uh, of course, the final moment. Uh. You want to do the final? The yeah, final sure. Play, so play big, play. Big E, at this point, Big E is able to get the upper hand on Apollo, and he has him up for his finish, which I believe is called the big ending. Mm-hmm. And then, um, really, in the way the you know, and you know, the camera did it right, so they were able to make it work out to where, like, effectively, out of nowhere, uh, mm-hmm. this huge guy. Just wrecks Biggie, just completely a wrecks him. Huge guy in what I will only assume is Nigerian military outfit. Yeah, I, I have nothing to base that off of, but basically, if you can mentally picture every, and I hate to say it like this, but every African military outfit that you probably ever can picture in your head quickly with the white pants and the stripe on the side and the green yeah, military that, that, jacket. Yeah. Right, right. And he, so, um, I did a little bit of checking. Apparently his, this, this character's, um, currently going by commander Aziz. 
um, but more recently known as Daba Kato, um, and more recently seen in the, uh, I think it was, uh, whatever that underground. Oh, hush your mouth train. <laughs> I'm yeah, I was wondering if you could hear that or not. I was I'm wondering talking. if you could hear that or not. Um, no, um, so he was in like that raw underground saying that Shane O'Mac was sort of hosting for a while. And um, if you remember, that was actually the first time you ever saw almost as well, because he was the doorman to the gotcha. underground. And then this uh, Daba Kato, because I, I have to double check myself because I keep wanting to call him Dabo, but it was Daba Kato. Daba. Um, and so he was in that. And I think he might have done some the tape, the tape thumb yeah yeah who else did that move i forgot who else did that umaga that's what it was the that's what it was. spike yeah. he would right down right on you and yeah so um so now obviously he's with apollo right interesting what they do with that if they're able to bring he's the new diesel people yeah pretty much <laughs> um yeah you know what they're gonna do if it's just gonna be the two of them or are they gonna maybe start something you know more like a different stable kind of thing i don't I mean who knows the nigerian hurt business maybe or a kind of a <laughs> yeah i mean because it won't be quite nation 2.0 but it could no. potentially go down a similar this path. one borderlines a lot more than the nation of uh, of the nation more than the uh her business her business yeah. yeah if they really added four people with this yeah they they it could definitely be much more nation sure sure type of oriented groups yeah so yeah but all right all in all, uh, so that's that was another so there's another title change um we have right, right now we have one retain and two changes back to, right right like, back to back um and so then the next one I have on my list is the women's the Raw Women's Championship match. Right. So this have is a, Asuka. A, yeah. Ripley. Yeah, Asuka and yeah. Rhea Ripley versus Asuka. Um and so Ian had to check out yeah, for I was a gonna say, during this I, I was in it and I could see it over the kind of out the corner of my eye type of deal, but yeah, I will definitely let you run with this one. Uh, again, I think I think this was a pretty good match. Again, I think both of these ladies are incredible. Um, uh, you know, you have uh, kind of, you know, both of them are strikers in their own way. Uh, so there was definitely a lot of kicks, a lot of, you know, moves. But obviously, uh, Asuka is much, much quicker. And so she was using that. There's a lot of back and forth. Ripley, though, was really able to show her size dominance and and everything else and so but also a lot of counters um and, and they were just they, they were able to play each other very very well together See yeah they're able to yeah um which is the again first... they were matched up very similarly to uh the night before sure um sure with sasha and bianca mm -hmm. a good size smaller person bigger person yeah ratio that type of thing yeah but i think one of the ones that i think probably like if there's like a uh a, a, a series of moves that really helped to define the general you know psychology of the match um oscar was able to uh kind of work herself into an ankle lock slash body scissor thing um on um Rhea where then Rhea was able to pretty much just power her way into like a deadlift German suplex effectively okay I mean it was gotcha. just all it was raw power on Rhea's part pulling that move up and so yeah I think you know they 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 but I mean you know even you know Asuka got some Germans on Rhea too. I mean, and just right, just you know, kicks and Germans and back kicks and spinning back fists and all kinds of stuff between the Oscars, two of them. Oscars, yeah, you know, Oscars, great, yeah, and and so 
basically it 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 just goes back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And again, it really showed off Ripley's strength. Asuka was able to get all of her stuff in, but was able to work. Well, I mean, Asuka is able to kind of, it's not like she has to just completely do her stick in the same order. She's able to work a match and still find ways to be yes um, surprising, you know, at least to an extent. But then basically... She, if I remember right, Rhea, Asuka's basically coming with a move. Rhea catches her mid-air and then yeah. just drops her with the Riptide Slam, which is her finisher. Yeah. And then gets it, gets the one, two, three. So, I mean, she, you know, they, they have... I think in, I think in, I'm I'm glad they did it. I think I think if Rhea lost this one, I might have checked out. I don't think out. they could have. No, I might have checked I out. I don't think not even anything against Oscar, but I think they needed to to really effectively book Rhea. Oscar can take a loss here without hurting her. They legacy. already messed up with uh, Ripley. What last, a year ago or two years, whenever it was, it was when last, she came up against Charlotte. Yeah, it was that was last. She should have beat Charlotte. Yeah, she should have. So she should have beat Charlotte. That that's just what it was. Um, and they messed that up. So I however agree. you cut slice that, they messed that up. Yeah, I and agree. she had to win this one. I thought it was a bit, and honestly, I think even when you and I were talking yesterday. WWE writers love their copy and paste. So they copied what they did last night and pasted it into tonight. And for, for better or worse, I think this match, if it had not followed Sasha and Bianca, if it had been, if things had been flipped around, I still think Sasha and Bianca was better. Mm hmm. But the fact that I think that and they went first as well, and it was a very similar theme throughout the whole thing. This one felt less climactic. And it's not like either of them did anything wrong. It they were both great. It it's to, right. it's just kind of like it's yeah, okay. whatever faults there um, whatever kind of perceived faults there are to it was totally not they're doing mm -mm. Mm -mm. not at all and it ended correctly it was right. just sort of right okay we just saw that you know you can only surprise me and like wow one really big huge oh my goodness can you believe i saw oh my wow that was i was there i saw that yeah you can only do that one time really even if you do it the second time you're like oh wow i, I mean i saw it again you know i saw it but wasn't as good as the first one. So I, I think I, yeah. I, I agree. And I think with this one too, I think on top of all that, I think unlike the match last night, I, 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 it was just more, at least for me watching it, you know, I was pretty much convinced on how it was going to end. Yeah. It was. And I never yeah. had that back and forth. Whereas with the, the Bel Air Sasha match, you again we were talking about that journey that they took us on and there was you know like mm -hmm. everyone, like you know we we're both feeling that you know Bianca should win, should win it but yeah they did a really great job of making it unclear and going back and forth with this thing and being just enough to where you know what i'm not 100% sure maybe not exactly yeah yeah, yeah. With this one, though, I mean, again, it had its back and forth, and again, I think they did a good job, but at the end of the day, it was just, you know what, they are, Rhea's going to walk away with this strap, and, you know, and again, I still, I, I still think it was the right decision, but having that kind of under, like, just, yeah, I know what's going to happen, on top of everything yeah. else, just kind of helped. Kinda, right. Again, it's just, it's like it just sort of, fell 
just fell a little flat. Fell a little just flat, a little... which is a shame because again, yeah, I think they both it wasn't. Really did really great jobs, and yeah, yeah, I agree. You know what? Do you what do you what do you do? What do you do? Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Last last match. Triple threat. Bryant comes out. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Then Edge. Then Edge came out jacked. Yeah. Up. I mean, he that emotion. I, I was talking to his friends. I was like, he's gonna come out. For all he knows that in, in the real world, this could be it for Edge. Hopefully sure. not. I'm not. I'm not saying it is, but in a like legitimate. I mean, he's he's a ticking time, but his neck is a ticking time bomb. So it who knows if this was his last one, he was going to come out with more energy than you could ever imagine. And he did. I mean, he yeah. came out and that place erupted. I think that might have been the biggest pop of the night, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah, for uh, sure. with with him. Yeah, with him coming out because there were times that the crowd. Checked out isn't quite it, but the it wasn't like they were in sync mm-hmm. it, it, in a weird way. It was almost like uh, they had the audience pipe piped in, but um, there was no piping in during that. When, when he hit, when his music hit the oh, place. Yeah. Erupted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You couldn't tell that the crowd, it was only a half full stadium at that point. Um, yeah. Which was good to see. Mm-hmm. So, and then of course, uh, tribal chief comes down last. So, He's the champ, et cetera, et cetera, as he's coming in. And I think they did a pretty good job of setting up, you know, the kind of the the tape, you know, beforehand, kind of helping to really, you know, really set the stage here yeah. for what's going on, you know. And so, and I think for, I think also, all in all, I think they did a pretty good job of setting up the story because, you know, okay, you got Roman, he's the obvious heel. You've got Brian, who's... Definitely the face, but a very frustrated one. Yeah, but 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 the face. He's definitely Mister. Mm. Hey guys, you know, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I'm the and, good like, guy. and like and like he was smiling with like talking to the ref and everything as the match was yeah. getting ready to get started and everything like that. And so I mean, he was definitely playing more of that role. Where Edge, again, you know, you talk people, about the desperate guy, exactly. That's that's what you saw with him. Edge, but yeah. it fit him. It fit Adam Copeland exactly. Yeah, it fit Adam Copeland. Yep, because he is kind of desperate, not in a bad way. Desperation isn't always a bad thing. No, um, but that's where they. That's that's exactly where he is in a way with this, and so he knows. You know, like the, mm-hmm. again, that neck is only so long. He doesn't have ten more years of wrestling. No, no. Um, yeah, he has two. Yeah, Three. and the fact that, and we talked about this last night. It's kind of like from like the preview side of things. Um, um, you know, all three of these guys have come back from some major health issue. They really have. You know, yes. Edge yeah. just recently with his neck. Daniel Bryan was out because of concussions. Concussions, also, as right? We watched yeah. this match. It's like, dude, why are you doing headbutts? Why are you? Like, are you kidding Stop me, man? Those. Yes. You know, I know you're not hitting them fully, but still, it's your head. <laughs> exactly. You need man. to hit your head like, with a why? pillow. That's it just, it. It just worries me, you know? And even stuff like his neck, like, oh, yeah, we're going to, we're going to attack the neck. And I'm just like, okay, I yeah. got it. You're working it. I, you know, I kind of like, it's like, okay, I kind of see. Like, some of the shots, they definitely made it like, oh, crap. And then the other ones, I could see, okay, I could kind of see what he was doing. But yeah. it was like still like some of that stuff. And then, you know, Roman, you know, is a little bit of a different beast with his cancer, but he seems to be in full remission. So, I mean, sure. it's a slightly, a slightly different animal, but all of them have like come back from something it's slightly major. different, but possibly even more debilitating. So it, potentially, it's, yeah, it, but it's a, yeah. it's a different thing like then like a, like problems with concussions or broken neck sure. from yeah, you're not flinching business. every time he gets hit with a chair. No. Or, yeah, it, yeah. It wasn't related to the business, uh, you know, mm-hmm. type of injury. So, but it, so you have, you know, again, so you have the desperate face in Brian. You have a desperate, well, I'm sorry, a frustrated 
face. I'm sorry, in Brian, a desperate edge who's kind of in the middle here. And then obviously Roman, who's got his entourage with him. And, yeah. and you know, and it's always kind of like, taken out pretty early. One of them. No, but it's kind of like, up. yeah, but you kind of have to to be able to help kind of have the match because it was kind of like it's like okay, it's a triple threat match already, you know. Yeah, you got three you people. Have, you have start people. putting four and five. Why, yeah, why are you gonna have anybody? I mean, uh, Heyman, okay, fine, he's only gonna get himself sure. involved. It's okay, so whatever, you know. But to have Jay out there, and then it's just kind of like, well, it's a no, it's uh, by it's inherently a no DQ. So what keeps Jay from basically just make it a two on two on one on one, one. On one. yeah yeah the whole time you know so you right. take him out early you know so that way you could still have the regular triple threat um but then he comes back into play later and you know it's it's but you know you could tell, I mean, like, they, each of these guys weren't holding any punches. They were, you know, basically working that three-way match, which, again, if done right, can be interesting. If done wrong, sure. can just go sideways quick. Um, Completely. But I don't think this did. Again, I think this match was actually pretty damn good. Um, I would definitely put it in there. I agree. Like, you know, best night, best match of the night. It was the main event. And it had to deliver. And I think, again, all in all, I think it delivered. Um, again, I think part of it, if I wasn't tired as hell, maybe I'll get a chance to maybe kind of try and rewatch it later and maybe, yes, you know, give I, it more fresh eyes. I agree. Give it, you know, maybe yeah. give it its fair shake. A couple of the other matches, too. Definitely like the Oscar Ripley one, um, Rhea Ripley one, I'd probably want to watch again just to get a better, you know, even again, even, I mean, I already knew it was going to happen anyway, so it's not like that's going to matter but uh, sure. this one you know again they, they they played it went back and forth went back and forth everybody got their stuff in um there was enough stuff you know outside inside you could see you know <laughs> at one point and i'm assuming this was improvised where yeah. edge, edge comes in with the chair Roman kind of rips it from him and Edge has a little <laughs> section of it and he's just kind of looking at it and then he ends up dropping it but then yeah. he ends up he basically ends up getting Roman in a cross face Roman kind of breaks out of it and then Edge grabs the bar kind of just the bar that kind of holds that bottom section of the chair together in Roman's yeah, you can tell mouth. he was not Expecting that to be there, <laughs> right. look like it's just like, oh, uh, I might be able to. Okay, Never done that I before. Might be able to use Don't just this drop later. It. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, um, and then you have, in a way, it was inter it was kind of an interesting thing, but also at the same time, it's kind of like, okay, what are you guys doing? Because then, uh, Daniel Bryan comes <laughs> I know in. Right. And I thought puts it was him in a yes cool. lock at the same time, and it's just, yeah and. Good. And then, like, but, and they are yelling at each other, but from like two feet, at night, right. two feet, they're like six and, inches away from each other's face. And yeah. Roman, of course, is being split in half at this point. He with, couldn't tap out if he with wanted the, to. With the bar still in his mouth, still in his mouth, <laughs> and, and getting the S lock. And that, at one uh, point, just, both Edge and Brian had either end of it. Yes, <laughs> so that one had the other. Oh, that's that's the, the part you were talking about. They both have on An each end. arm. They have Roman's back like that. He couldn't, like I said, he couldn't Could, tap. He couldn't he tap. Yeah, yeah. And he's. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. It was actually a really it funny. Was. And it you was. see them like you let go. No, you let no, go. And, and then they, they start, start headbutting each other. It's like so, no, 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 no. Especially with Daniel Bryan thing. He's yeah, also yeah, he's doing headbutts. Yeah. He's, he did a flying headbutt at one point. I'm like, dude, dude, no, don't do no, that stuff. What, what, what's wrong? You with don't you? have to. You got plenty of kicks and just other things yeah, that you can do. You know, submission yeah, wrestling, no, that, man. You're gonna be a pure mat wrestler. So, so that that was, and then I forget exactly where the turnaround happened. Break happens. that up. Um, Edge ends Edge up and getting. Brian. Yeah, Edge and Brian go back and forth a bit because Rome is pretty much laid out at this point. Sure, yeah. Edge ultimately ends up with the upper hand. Yes. 
and because I think he has, uh, I can't remember which one. One of them, like An Edge, endless Edge, supply of chairs on the Edge, side. Is well, what he has. but what I was going to say also is that Edge had Edge had a pin. I think Edge had like a pinning maneuver on Brian, and then it was Roman that broke it up. It was some of those. So Edge was just getting just frustrated as all hell. Yeah. And yeah. Um, so he has them basically laid out. I think that's where he gets a couple spears on them. And then he goes out and gets the chairs. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, all right, so we know Setting what's coming. Double concerto. Here. Double concerto. Yeah. He... One under Bryant, the one under Roman. Goes, gets one for himself. Like I said, endless supply of chairs. Pretty much. Uh, yeah. And, and yeah, so they get that. He's getting that squared up, and then that's when Jay comes in. He, and well, he hits he hits Bryant. Yeah, oh yes, yes, he, he gets does. Bryant he, he gets Bryant. Up. Yep. Yeah. And he's walking over to Reigns, and that's Jay comes back at that point and saves Roman, beats up Edge for a little while till he gets beat up. And then Roman hits hits Edge with a spear. Uh and He's down, lays on a chair. Roman's like, well, hey, if you were going to do it to me, <laughs> yeah, let's try this so ourselves. Well, well, and, and he positions Edge's head on it yeah. and yeah. pops him with that. And then basically... Again, Everybody held their breath as he swung in slow motion. Yeah, I know. Ward him. <laughs> please miss. Please yeah. miss. Yeah. Uh, and so... He hits him. Yeah. Yeah, you know, so yeah, he hits him. He hits him with the the concerto, and then again, I think more just so to help eliminate any ideas of Brian coming in and breaking up the pin or anything else. He lays Edge over Brian and effectively pulls him up on top of him. Pins both them, them both basically for the one, two, three. Which again, kind of you know, helps out because it's like okay, you know, well, but but I mean, the idea there is like, yeah, they were both selling the concerto because like basically it was like they were done, like that. Was Brian it. never moved after that. No, and well, once he got hit with it, he never moved. That no, was it. no. So yeah. So, so Roman retains. Um, it'll be curious to see. I wonder how long his uh, quote unquote reign, no pun intended. Um, will last here. I, you know, how, how, and like, yeah, it's so now, but you know, now you kind of, it sets up that question. Okay. All right. Well, how long is Roman going to hold on to this thing? He just went through a grueling match with Kevin Owens um, right. all through yeah. the whole arena. And now he just, you know, other, you know, fast lane with Daniel Bryan. He's got where actually, where he actually tapped to the yes lock. He was right. tapping exactly. for Edge came in and, and um broke everything up. Um which kind of set which is what set this match up to begin with. But he's had he's had, you know, very close calls, you know, and again without Jay coming in to interfere, Edge would have won this. I don't yeah. have a, a doubt in my mind if he'd have gotten because again, Brian wasn't gonna do squat. He was out, done. Sure. So if he'd have hit Roman with that, then that'd have been that'd have been the end of it. Um, so you got to kind of wonder how how this whole head of the table story is gonna gonna go. How's that gonna end? Um, we mentioned last night we were wondering if maybe Jimmy Uso. I mean, yeah, you were the one that brought it up whether Jimmy Uso might get involved um, sure. in, in this storyline. Yeah. And again, he's been hurt, but he's but he should be coming back. He should be coming back, long. right? So you yeah. expect him to get into the mix and kind of probably bring in some wrinkle into the works there with with Jay, um, and try and figure you know kind of try and play that out a little bit. Um, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see. We've got enough new champions in place to really kind of help set that tone for again kind of the start of a quote unquote new season. And sure. So yeah, I think there's there's a there's enough there where there's a good kind of you know they're in a, I think overall they're in a good position to kind of start 
you know, starting with Raw tomorrow to, uh, which I might actually watch this time around. Um, <laughs> right. More so to kind of see what they do, some of the different story beats that they need to. Um, yeah, the Raw after after WrestleMania, it's a big, you know, it's, yeah, it's a special a Raw. One. Yep. So, yep. right. But, yeah, I mean, but that's that's WrestleMania weekend in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was a marathon in a weird way. It was Man. like, yeah, it was. you know. It, For it, them and us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, and. I mean, we're kind of low end coverage guys. I mean, completely you know, like, you know, like someone like the what culture guys and like oh, Simon Miller and goodness. those guys. I'll be curious yeah, to see I Simon's feel for them. and the fact tomorrow. that they're what five hours behind us too. Well, they're ahead. So, you know, it's, yeah, or ahead of us. They're, right. Yeah. They're like five um, hours ahead of you, seven hours ahead of me. Um, exactly. And so, so it's middle of the night for a lot of their stuff and they're watching it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, those guys are the real heroes here. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for I'm sure. I'm curious to see what their coverage looks like. How, what you know? Yeah. And it was so funny because we were both we both watched Simon Miller again. Shout out to Simon Miller. Um, yeah, yeah. But we were watching. We watched his ups and downs, and like Ian sends me a text. It's like I almost wonder if he watched our stream last night. <laughs> Like, I'm I know right. you, I'm like, we, we I know, know you out there, didn't. Simon. We we and, know you you watched us to get your talking points. We appreciate it. Uh, just a little shout out next time would be. Oh, yeah, pretty, that's be all nice. we need. Yeah, that's all we're asking. Hey, for, yeah, so. if you go, if you go, if you go, if you yeah. go, if you're gonna steal our stuff, man. Yeah, listen. we're fine with you stealing some stuff. I get it. You know, hey, anything to help out. But you know, if you're gonna do that, just just a little shout out is all we're asking. <laughs> so no, nah, no, it, it was those guys are great. So. No, they are. And again, I think it was just, it was just, it was. Last night was just one of those nights where it was pretty, it was it was pretty clear cut. I mean, you know, the way things went down, the the overall show itself was was incredible. He had a he he had some points, you know, that that he called out. I mean, yeah, it wasn't like the entire night was perfect, and and he, and he, and he called those out. Um, and I think yeah, I think I agree with, you know, the stuff that he was talking about. So I yeah. think all in yeah. all. Um, you know, uh, it was almost kind of almost like it would have been better if it was reversed. No, yeah, right. Because I think, you know, yeah, if you finish off, if, like, if we were like just even as tired as I am, I think if I was just coming off that Sasha Bianca match, I'd have a completely yeah. different vibe right now. Cause, yeah, no, I'm with you. Yeah. You want to talk about putting the gas back in the tank? Holy crap. That yeah, one would have done it, sure. but yep, yeah, that's that's it. That is it for our WrestleMania review, um, part two, Electric Boogaloo, um, <laughs> and we'll uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see, we we'll have to figure out what our schedule is going to look like this week um, for the different yeah. stuff that we'll cover. Right. We'll, again, we'll probably do a little bit of NBA, but I think also we'll probably have to have at least some discussion around the Raw. Um, tomorrow oh for sure. again, yeah how that yeah how that continue it won't be tomorrow night um but yeah later in the week for sure we'll we'll, we'll figure that out yeah no i'm with you for sure but yeah um yeah man hey first uh three nights in a row streams stream i was gonna say right. man yeah, yeah i think i, I think i'm gonna get, to do I'm, ourselves I'm, I'm, i might be getting too old for this shit i don't know yeah um, <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be me from Die Hard, man. If you're gonna be, <laughs> well, I'm, I'm the old one. To be the one. Even though I'm, you are I'm, the older I'm, one, I'm it's older still, one, so still it's, that's it. You know. Um, yeah, but yeah. With that, we're gonna call it good. Um, catch some shut eye. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we will check back with you guys later on this week. Um, yeah, definitely. And, and with that, we are out. Later, fam.
Kiss the rain Ice runs in my veins Won't play safe I don't belong with your nobility Who died and made you king of anything You think that I'm insane It's your mistake 